Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Let's Play on Legendary difficulty with our um, Grandmaster Mode enabled. It's a blind Let's Play, I should say that, but by now we know the game relatively well. So, uh, status is our ship is getting repaired, which is good. Uh, that's in progress and we got... Uh, potentially five hull integrity which is good uh, definitely would want to upgrade the void shields even a little bit further and then i think there is also an upgrade here um, to prevent warp storm risk uh, warp, sto warp storm risks so that's good warp drive three is good as well um, but equally i think we're also getting some more capacity here because simply because um, i want another librarian uh, so the next update would actually be the barracks because our barracks believe it or not are full yet again full to the limit uh, which brings us to today's mission 20 servitors and we can do that without melee master melee crafted weapons. That's likely not going to happen because I want my good uh, melee weapons. So we're just going to get one uh, requisition instead of two. Not the end of the world. Um, we're likely not going to get anything out of here anyways. Maybe if this melee weapon uh, for the chaplain is any good, then we're going to get it. So let's uh take our same team 30 hit, uh, experience that uh, dan the justicar needs 170 that nikki zero our apothecary needs and the rest goes to grell i think that's pretty much already what we need to do uh got high sanctuary got strength spirit got the tide of the shadows and willpower this team is just performing ultra well and even Switching in another DPS hasn't changed uh, the composition too much. It's a bit more cumbersome, but you can definitely play that melee madness um, build very, very well. All right, here we go. Off into the Lord warp zone. Appears to be the heart of a hive world dockyard. Is it possible our prognosticants were mistaken? Have some faith, purifier. What better place is there than a busy transport hub to spread a mass infection? You may have a point, Inquisitor. Brothers, seek for signs of the bloom and destroy any obstacle you find. Good. Purple and blue bloom. That's exactly the type of bloom that we need. And we need to move a long distance. So, let's start. The foe is close. Let the hunt continue. What is your will? Let's start by moving in. Unleash me. Your orders? Good, a couple of things that we will need to do. Uh, let's start with warp speed uh, biomancy. Very nice. Our paladin is becoming a killing machine. I like that. Seeker skull. finds out that we're dealing with one enemy and one enemy only and guess what we're going to do with that one enemy damn right are traveling right there hello surprise surprise enemy sighted all right, uh, how about Strength of Spirit? We do have two times a uh, reuse. So for now, uh, 
Let's use this. Good. Both are be, uh, reusable. That's fantastic. This here for five rounds. Easy peasy. And yeah, we still got everything else that we can use. Good. Cool. Uh, that thing is vulnerable. And uh, it doesn't have any bloom. Out of curiosity. That's dealing a bit of damage, but not that much. Uh, let's be, use our paladin here and start to teach this thing a lesson. Four strike. And we want to get rid of the death. Very nice. Continuing to fall strike, uh, we're panicking it. <laughs> yep. And four strike. Additional vulnerability. I don't know if the vulnerability stacks, to be honest. I have no idea. But it is now vulnerable, and it was vulnerable before. It is just vulnerable for an unlimited period of time. Your command. There you go. This thing is almost down. Um, we're going to use our time to move up into this direction. Yes, very good. And that is a kill for our um, apothecary. 170 minus 45 uh, brings us to 125. Say 130 to be uh, secure. This guy is defending. These guys are defending as well. These Fantastic. Lovely. Suffer the ultimate punishment. Warp charging all the way in there. Before then, teaching these uh, two uh, guys uh, that they are absolutely wrong. Uh, before we're doing that, though, let's make everybody vulnerable. Fantastic. Great. And before we do anything else, give me that seat. Great. And now we can start with our little bombardment here. Yeah, cool. Well, you protected them quite well, but not well enough, my dude. Ignore the wounds. Uh, 
That's a hit. Almost kill. Good. We said 130, now it's 120. Let's just hit this guy. Armor break three. There you go. Hope you learned your lesson. We need a bit more action, so warp charge it is. The hammer is just dealing a lot of damage. You say what you want, but it's crazy. Good. 120, 90. And he's down to 20. Good, uh, give him the melee speed, sure. My blade is ever ready. Yes, come on. That interrupted our plans quite a bit. I just wanted that extra bloom here. All right, warp speed, you get it as well. Teleport in and take everybody with you. Extracting this, thank you. I pull seed from this rot. Uh, 
The hammer is just massive. It's almost an immediate kill. So we were down at 90. These seeds come at 10 a pop, so we're down at 70. He needs one more kill and then he is leveled up. break fantastic and that will give him a level up unfortunately we can't really do much here So that's the end of uh, our turn. That's a nasty uh, nasty disease. Can we pur purify from it? My wrath is restored, brother. My blade is yours. It's an affliction. Suffer two damage when will points are used. That does not solve the affliction. But we're getting extra crit again. Power is refreshed for our um, for our teleporting librarian. This thing is down to is one. can execute him which is what I wanted to do to begin with and instead of just killing him having a nice execution fantastic 
That gives everybody uh, will points back. Unleash me. Putting some vulnerabilities up here. Get better. Then I would like to have the seed. There's still some seed out here. I haven't forgotten about that. Okay, we're we wouldn't care about that, really. Fantastic. Good, one hit. Almost uh, killed him. Continuing. Hmm. We're out of ammunition. That's unfortunate. What is your will? Yes, Massive four strike. Armor break four. Nasty, nasty hit. The vulnerability plus all of uh, the extra damage just adds up. It's almost a kill. That's a preparation for a kill as well. We're dealing a lot of damage. That hammer is crazy. So 80, that's 70, and this might even be... Executed. That might even be the... Uh, kill that we were looking for. Uh, that's a bit of a problem because we're going to take damage. My blade is ever ready. On my way. Now we don't need to warp charge that. Just need these guys to move out. And the self-destruction will harm one, the paladin. I think I could have even uh, prevented self destruction from happening.
The Emperor lights our path. Taking position. Good moves to here. Standing ready. Among impurity. And yeah, we're just going to wait here. If someone comes close enough, we can engage, but that's not really necessary at this point. We're doing very well for ourselves. I think we got two level ups. The librarian might not fully have leveled up. One comes. Behold the gifts of Nurgle. Shadows. <laughs> Slither. Cool. Beginning teleportation. That new hammer. Boy. That is something. In combination with uh, the armor that lets you hit as often as you want. That's just crazy. Okay, eh, not a lot of seeds, but an okay amount of uh, seeds. Uh, we don't want an apothecary. This weapon here can turn the enemies into crazed. And this here is a weapon uh, for chaplains only. It's one to damage, can go up to five. That in itself is already very good. Um, then vulnerable is great and when you execute the target all knights gain a will point on top I think I'm going to take that because it's actually a good weapon I wish that was level 3 medic high skull But I'm going to wait for level 3. Just saving the requisition. This weapon is good enough for the chaplain. Cool. I was correct. We got the level up. I should have potentially gone all the way to Ruthless Precision, but we had that in the other build. We already had that in the other build. So what are we going to do with the last level? We really don't need that much. I think this is still fine. Uh, potentially not good enough in order to justify it. We got four hit points here. 10% range crit. A little bit of provoke. It's funny because unless you get more points, this will really not make him that much better.
Let's do this. Plus uh, uh, one area and two damage. It's not bad. And the option to give himself a massive Aegis. It's an okay uh, build. Others were better, but to be fair, Den was doing just fine. Nikki as an apothecary. Could upgrade the boon here. I really liked, uh, surprisingly, the melee damage upgrade. That was nice when I saw just how much, just how much damage you could uh, deal with it. The auto extraction, I don't know. It's okay, but we do have the extractor school. Oftentimes, this here is not needed. I think the movement speed is a no brainer. This here, of course, would be good, but we wanted to build something different, so this might be it. A little bit longer boon, or the other option is more hit points. Or the yet other option is more willpower. I think we're taking the willpower, that's never wrong. It's a decent build. Again, there are slightly better ones, but uh, this one was okay. Um, tested out some abilities to be fair. Uh, the class is a bit in this particular combo, a bit relegated to give biomancy for more crit and then um, help shooting uh, from time to time. Uh, and the service, and of course, the servitors. How could I forgot about them? Um, they, yeah, but that's a very support-ish support, a support -ish role. I guess that's the criticism about that uh, composition. It works so ultra well uh, to just buff one uh, person and shift him um, action points over and over and then move that person around. So you're basically taking care of the movement, you're taking care of action point needs and you're making that person ultra strong and then that person just needs to continue hitting, hitting, hitting. And oh, oh boy, they do hit hard. So. Can't move to there, shouldn't move to there, uh, through there. Good, but that is now done and dusted. We are needing to build a new, fresh version. The librarian still needs a level up. Uh, they can do that in a different setup. Good. What do we have? So over here, well, that's a problem. We need to get here. Extract seven seeds. Easy. Not uh, no issue. Apothecary. Level three grenades. That might be something. Finally, level three halberd might be good. And level three terminator armor. Lots of level three items. I like what I'm seeing. Servitors. Seed extraction. 
the right seats just a car and level three grenades okay paladin yeah well we're not going to do this here purifier servitors no we're not doing that either so if i was to fly to here i think i can still reach that afterwards and this here is having remorse we yeah, need to prevent it and it's the right seeds as well bloom spawn extract seeds and we got quite a bit of loot available This here seems to be even the better route, so that there seems to work. Uh, this here is 15 days and this here is 15 days. Uh, let's do this and then... Commander, my reports indicate that you are carrying an excessive stockpile of befouled seeds aboard your ship. The use of corrupted artifacts is sometimes a regrettable necessity, but they should be put to a clear and essential purpose, not coveted like trinkets. I object to your sacrificing our hard-earned research material into the bloom. These seeds are needed to combat this threat. Commander, complying with Kai's request may bring us favor with the Grand Masters. I could perform a rite of purification on these foul seeds and destroy them all at once. Half of your seats will be lost. All right, Commander, sure. Your chapter's foolish notions put this campaign at risk. No, Inquisitor. What is foolish is to ignore the demands of a Grand Master. How? Oh, yeah, I mean, that's a hard hit. That's a hard hit, but. Then again, we're getting seeds back. I'm typically using them uh, quite uh, quite frequently. We're we're typically getting them uh, back as we speak. Um, speaking of the seeds. Mortimer. Our paladin here does have the option to upgrade his armor, but that's unfortunately locked behind purple seats. Um, I think we've upgraded everything. Well, at least we're getting more requisition, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And we just need to extract seeds and then we should be fine. Uh, however, it is the first mission with a new team. Hmm. It is the first mission with a new team. It is still the last mission with uh, the Librarian, so we have that one going for us. Uh, let's check into the ship real quick. Almost uh, restored the hull to max, that's good. And afterwards we wanted to get uh, uh, the barracks upgraded a little bit further and after that we wanted warp speed to be upgraded and then uh, the Geiler field good so we got a plan um,
Dan, I'm sorry, but you are level 9, and as such, you and your good friend Zero can no longer be with us. Uh, we could have a bit of a taste of uh, that stun team. That stun team, or we're just doing one last uh, general iteration. Uh, of of our melee madness team. This could be a stun team as well, to be fair. To be fair, this could be a stun team as well. So, let's uh, start with our Justicar here. Good. We're getting extra AP, that is never wrong. And we want to build up a stun team. Uh, for now though, I think we are still keeping that Seeker Scroll. Vulnerability is good. And as an armor... Let's use this. We're going to build a slightly different team though, but as long as we're still having as long as we're still having our teleportation taxi, we might uh, make use of it. We need a, we need stun weapons though because I really want to use uh, st uh, stun weapons. Um, in terms of the bolter. In terms of the bolter, let's use this one here. Good. Essentially, a uh, carbon copy from the equipment uh, that we had beforehand, and we do have honor the chapter, which is generally fine, but there is a huge uh, difference. This guy will not be. Uh, r permanently running in that uh, group. Uh, the only reason why I'm currently having him is because he's a little bit low on the level and I want him to catch up with uh, the level 5 guys. He will be in that range team and he will not uh, be carrying a melee weapon. It's the last time that we're using Grell, the librarian, uh, so might as well make good use of, uh, of them. Uh, Paladin uh, works just absolutely well at this point. Uh, I'm not seeing the need to change anything. And for our Chaplain, uh, that's the new uh, new kid on the block. Uh, we do have a Skull Extractor here, right? Yeah, we good. We good. As for our Chaplain, that is where a lot of the stuff is coming into play. So armor. No, that's the Librarian Armour. That's a good Armour. Three Armour, three Will Points and cannot be knocked back. That's a fantastic Armour. As a melee weapon, we're going to use this here. And this weapon seems very, very good. Matter of fact, it's a five damage weapon, which is fantastic. As a chance to... Uh, suffer affliction vulnerable uh, so vulnerability and when we execute the target everybody gets will points back plus there's a nice little crit damage bonus but this year the inspiration that's a good one ranged weapon
ranged weapon. I think we're going to take this one here. Good. Now, uh, what do we need to take in the war gear slot? I think we lost uh, the Halo Skull. So let's take that. Because we don't have a lot of healing either. And the question is who's going to take care of the healing because our healer is gone. Uh, we could go with uh, heal two that heals everybody for six. It's a decent amount of healing. We got extra armor. But is that it really enough? Um, and are we willing to take will points away from the librarian? Potentially not. We just need to have um, the high sanctuary going. Because High Sanctuary will give everybody three armor, and with their armor, we should be really, really, really good. Um, plus, I want to use his stun ability together with the stun and start kind of getting the feel for the stun team. In the future, it is going to be Paladin, Chaplain, Librarian, and then the uh, uh, um, Purifier. And we would need to deal with healing as uh, anyways, and potentially healing will come from stratagems in the future. Yeah, I think that's fair. We do have two additional uses, which also means we could just let uh, Strength of Spirit run. Ignore High Sanctuary. And we don't have a Purification. Um, so for this team, we might take this year, the Purification and the Resistances, because we don't have a Purification this year. It's purification this year is basically Heal for everyone. This is Crit. And this is our taxi gets uh, some will points back. So I like that you can use the stratagems around whatever you want to do. And we're not holding anything for five rounds. So I think we're okay. Uh, get 10 servitors. Uh, seems like a really good use of our time. And as the hull repair is almost done, four days. We still have with 30 uh, servitors. That's very, very good. So we can then finally get this and then this, that's 30 service, uh, servitors gone and potentially this. Maybe we're starting with this to be fair. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for today. Thanks all for watching. If you enjoy Warhammer 40k, then leave a comment and a like down below and I'll see you in the next episode. And if you could uh, channel the inner librarian in yourself and teleport yourself over to that like button and give it a nice little smack, that would be great. Take care. Bye bye.